guys welcome back to my channel i know i know i haven't posted okay um i've been busy you know training and stuff I haven't posted i've been off youtube i have not made any videos you guys so i'm so sorry but um back to it i'm gonna be posting every week i just landed in miami and it is very humid here like very um but i'm super hungry like i literally had a six hour flight yeah this is my view this is my view it's very humid very humid and noisy i'll show you guys around a little bit this is my bed i have not even unpacked yet but we got tv here Boom, that's me. We got the bathroom in here. Little bathtub so I can cut some weight. Another mirror. <laughs> Another mirror. <laughs> There's so many mirrors in here. Got a little living room going on. But yeah, I literally just opened this door. So I texted one of the workers that I was hungry and they apparently have meal prepped food food ready to go for me to eat easy for me to cut weight so let's see what's in here got a whole bunch of boxes for the whole week forks all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and heat this shrimp lafayette <laughs> how the fuck how do you say it I'm gonna heat this up because your girl's starving. All right, y'all, let's see what this tastes like. Let me see. Mm. Chef's kiss. Your girl's hungry. I haven't ate all day. Actually, I'm lying. I had an egg muffin at the airport early this morning. But I've literally, it's 7 p.m. and it's a three hour difference, so it's a little bit later. But um, I've been up since four, so it's been a long day, long, long day. But we finally made it, or I made it. Ah! I finally made it, and um, Monday I fight Friday night so I'm just bringing you guys along with me and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog but for now I'm just gonna eat my food while I watch some Netflix all right so I just got done eating and it was really good I think I'm still kind of hungry but um if anything I'll probably have another meal later because technically where I'm from um it's like four barely and right now it's about to be eight so um i'm probably gonna eat a little bit later again but so i'm supposed to be quarantined in my room the whole time but um i'm gonna show you guys the hotel a little bit i'm gonna hopefully i don't get in trouble i don't think i will let me show you guys all right so this is the lobby and i'm on the very very top floor that's pretty much it, you guys. <laughs> Letting that sink in so I can take a bath. I'm like, I want to say I'm like 11, 10 pounds out. This is the look. This is what we're going with. Um, I feel super strong, you guys. Right now, I'm just really tired because I flew all day. But it's starting to get dark out nighttime. It's really hot out though yep still humid good morning y'all um i just woke up like about an hour ago and it's 10 20 around there woke up took a shower got my first covid test wasn't that bad honestly it's just super quick they just went one two um, I thought it was going to be worse because it's been worse, 
but um, not bad, so I'm not complaining. I just had breakfast, but not really. I had fruit, and then I'm supposed to eat the egg whites, but they have no flavor to it. I might just add some salt and pepper onto it, but um, I had to go get had to go down the hall real quick to get some water because your girl's thirsty and um, have a busy day today. I have to go get an eye exam. I have registration. I have an interview and then a photo shoot and then I have training later. So from what I know, that's what my schedule is looking like today and it's going to be super busy. So hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'll try to get as much as I can. I may or may not pull the camera out every now and then, but yeah. Here's my water. I got some natural spring water and then I got some distilled water. It's supposed to help you cut weight. I'm calling to see if you guys have a coffee shop. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's downstairs. Okay, thank you. Guys, you know I have to go get my coffee. <laughs> they have a coffee machine here, but it's just not the same. I'm gonna go get some coffee. coffee because they only accepted Apple Pay. So, this is what we're doing. We're making our own coffee. Uh, I just burned my tongue. I, I don't drink hot coffee. I don't. But it is what it is. But right now, I'm eating breakfast. I had, um, I had fruit earlier, but now I'm eating mushrooms with egg whites and potatoes. It's a shortcut. If you guys haven't seen Clickbait, you better go watch it. Jesus Christ. So like I said, um, if you think I'm squinting too much, no, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll let you know if, if, I, right. if I see that as well. All right, talking to me, forget about the camera, okay? Like it doesn't exist, just talking to me. Talking okay. To me. Like, and the only thing I'm going to ask you is when I ask you a question, my questions are not going to be in the video. So if you can reply, including the question, so we know what we're talking about. A sample I always put is if I ask you, do you like Miami? And you say, yes. Because my question is not gonna be in the video. With that, yes, we cannot do okay. anything. So you will have to be like, I like Miami because of this, or I hate Miami because of whatever. Okay. But so we know what we're talking about. I'll help you out. It's starting in five, four, three. Tell me your name and where are you coming from? My name is Maritza Sanchez, and I'm coming from Placerville, California. Now for a different edit that we do, tell me your name, where are you coming from, and who are you going to fight against? My name is Maritza Sanchez, and I'm coming from Placerville, California, and I'll be fighting Elizabeth Schroeder. Perfect. All right, so let's start a little bit from the beginning. Tell me, where did you, where were you born, uh, where did you grow up, and how you were as a child? So I was born and raised in Placerville, California. Um, growing up as a kid, I was kind of just, I guess you could say a shy person. I was kind of stick to myself, uh, pretty independent. Why did you become a fighter? I became a fighter because, I mean, I fell in love with the sport after I just started doing it uh, just for fun and I just stuck with it. I loved everything about it. Your family feel about it? Um, so my mom, she wasn't supportive in the beginning, but um, she's pretty supportive now and uh, my whole entire family supports me. I think my mom was just scared of, you know, me getting hurt, you know, I'm the baby of the family, so she just doesn't want to see me getting hurt. So tell me, I, I think I read that you also dealt with anxiety issues or something, and has this sport helped you in that way, or like, tell me a little about that. Uh, so yeah, I had anxiety issues a while ago, um, haven't had them recently, so I'm happy that, you know, I'm pretty free from that, I guess you could say, but um, it was definitely hard to deal with. Um, I really don't know where I got it from. It just kind of came out of the blue, but I feel better now. 
What advice will you give people who are in a similar situation that you were? I would say, you know, if you're going through something with anxiety, it's something really serious. So definitely find some help. Um, if you, you know, need some help, you, it's not easy to go through by yourself. So just take a be big deep breath in and take it day by day. All right, let's talk about you as a fighter. What kind of fighter are you? How would you describe yourself? I could describe myself as a very technical uh, fighter. Sometimes, you know, being in the moment, it could get scrappy, but uh, I would say my uh, background is more, sh more of a striking background. Tell me, what do you know about your opponent? I don't know much about my opponent. I do know that she uh, likes to come in for a fight, so she's going to come forward, but um, I'm ready for anything and um, yeah. So have you seen videos of her or like have you seen anything of her? I watched one video of her and like I said, she likes to come forward. So I'm definitely expecting for her to come forward um, this, this coming Friday. Once you win this fight, how are you gonna celebrate it? Once I win this fight, I'm just gonna, you know, enjoy my time here in Miami, maybe go grab some good food or, you know, just kick back, relax. All right, uh, so let's talk a little bit about your last fight with Combate, which, if I remember correctly, was against Lucero Costa. So tell me the story of that fight. So my previous fight was in February uh, last year, and uh, it's been a while. But um, I fought uh, Lucero La Loba Costa, and um, we went first round. I, I won by uh, knocked her down. You know, I got her with a good punch, and then um, I was able to look for a submission and finish it off with a rear naked choke. I know every fighter, even when winning, they think about like, oh, I should have done this differently. I should have like, what do you think you could have improved in, in that? Fight. What are you? What are you, What were your takeaways that you you needed to work more from that fight? Overall, I think I did pretty well. Uh, looking back at it, I don't think there was much that. I mean, there's always something that a fighter can improve on, but uh, maybe just to not be as hesitant, you know, coming into the fight. Um, what did you think your opponent could have done differently to to? to get a little bit more, like, you know, to not be submitted so quickly, or like, what are, you, what are, you, what are your takeaways there? What do you think she was lacking? Um, I definitely think she could have defended the choke. Um, I was able to sink it in as soon as she was coming up, so, you know, just keeping that hand up. But, um, you know, like I said, we all make, make mistakes. Things happen. Cool. What was the reaction to that fight? Like, what, what did you hear from people, like, from being here in combat, it was just, you know, like we have a lot of audience and everything. So did, did a lot of people approach you? They saw it, like, what was the reaction? What was the... Yeah, people uh, definitely, uh, people came up to me afterwards, you know, asked for pictures, which is pretty cool. I uh, got to meet a lot of new people, new supporters. So it was fun. Cool. All right, last thing, straight to camera. Um, just send a message to your opponent, like, for this, uh, don't say Friday because this will be on Friday, so it will be weird. Like, see you on Friday, and then it's Friday. See already. You. So, see you inside the cage if you want, or something like that, and tell her whatever you want. Like, I want to kill you, or like, whatever you, whatever you want. And when you finish, stay looking at the camera, okay? Five, four, three, Elizabeth. I hope you're ready because I am, and I'll see you in the cage. Again, to see the camera for two seconds. Okay, that, but that was perfect. That was perfect. Okay. Awesome. Three, two. Elizabeth, I hope you're ready because I am, and I'll see you in the cage. Cool. Awesome. Just about a, I mean, let's ask for something. October is Breast Cancer Month. I was just. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Um, have you had anybody in your family who's been affected by cancer? No, I haven't. Okay. So we'd like for you to say something like, hi, my name is Mariel Amarita Sanchez. Please, please support us this October for Breast Cancer Month or something like that, because we're putting something together. Okay. We're going to try for people, for them to, to, you know, to get scanned. Please support us for? Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Breast, can breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's October, yeah. Hi, my name is Maritza Sanchez. Please support us for Breast Cancer Awareness Month this October. 
Thank you. Cool. All right. I'm going to walk you down to where Scott is taking the photos. Will you have a beautiful from her hair? Maybe. Uh, 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 we just got done with our interview. I was a little nervous, not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna do it in Spanish. Thank you. My mouth is dry. <laughs> okay, so I just got done with my interview and I'm about to do my photo shoot. Now we're gonna do a minute on this heavy bag and then you're all good. If you wanna bring that. Thank you. It's humid in here, is it yeah. just me? 
Do they say there's no AC at all in here and that's what's happening? Well, it feels nice and cool in here. Yeah. These are the moodier ones. I'm gonna change the color a little. Yeah. These are some of the moody ones. Nice.